Okay, guys, so today I'm going to show you how you can build your own website where you can list almost anything. So that could be tools, sports equipment, vehicles, uh, tech and electronic, construction equipment, whatever, really. And the beauty of this solution is that it is self-hosted. So that means that you don't have to set up a server and you don't need any technical skills. It's super easy to use. Okay, let me show you. Okay, guys, and for this, we're going to use rental.io. And as always, I'll leave all the links in the description below. So with rental, you can start leasing your products and generate recurring revenue. But you can also use rental, as you can see, to launch a leasing service, in which case you can create seamless leasing and subscription as well. So there are different ways to monetize your website, obviously, depending on the type of business model that you have. And you can get started today for free as well. So start your online leasing business today and start for free. And there's no credit card required. So all you have to do, guys, to follow along here with the video is to click start for free. And welcome to your rental dashboard. So from here, you have access to all the tools required to set up your website and have access to all your orders, all your payments and everything that's happening on your website all in one place. So super easy to use. Let's go through all the steps one by one. And right here, we have the main essentials for us to get started and configure our website. As you can see, I have orders, products, inventory, and blocks. So clearly, we have no orders coming in at the moment, so we'll take care of this later. But obviously, we have to upload our products, take care of the inventory, and also manage our blocks. So we'll start from the blocks. So what are blocks? Well, blocks basically will allow you to add extra features to the website. For instance, you have analytics, you have branding, dashboard, category term, discount top code, uh, what do we have here, package product, uh, product variations, and etc, etc. So depending on the type of uh, website you want to build, the type of product or services that you will be leasing, you might need some of those items here. So for instance, product variation. So let me just click on this to show you what this is. And there you go. So we have the complete description. So add variants to your product that come in more than one option, like different sizes, different colors, etc., etc. Okay, so that's basically what this is. So if this applies to you, all you have to do is click install now, which is what we're going to do. Okay, and as you can see, you allowed up to eight blocks. That's basically it. Okay, so let's install this one together. There you go. So continue. And then feel free to install as many as you need, depending on your type of business, obviously, you know. And as you can see, again, as a reminder, you can install up to eight blocks all together. And once you have them installed, you can go on this tab here and you will see those that are installed and those that are still available. OK, so this is step number one. So let's go back home and now we need to manage our products. So this could be products or services. That's all the same, you know. So the next step here would be to create categories. So again, depending on the type of business that you run, you might not need categories, but in most cases, this is uh, necessary. So we're just going to do that together. OK, so let's pretend we're going to build a website for tool and plant, lease and hire. So for this, we're going to create our different categories So create a new category, give it a name. So let's start maybe with excavators. OK, you can put a description as well, create a category and you can even add an image. So click on this. So we're just going to add a new one. So I have a few here, so I'm just going to select the excavator. There it is. Open. Very good. So select this one and then click OK. Very good. And then scroll down the page. And right here, as you can see, you can add an online booking buffer. So what does that mean? Well, in the case of an excavator, clearly you cannot just drive this on the road. You have to uh, book a truck to come and collect it and then bring it to your customer and then bring it back. So all this takes time. So as you can see, you can select same day one day before, two days before, three days before, or even add another duration, whatever you want, you know, like maybe a full week or something like this. So let's pretend you need at least two days in advance. And you, you can see here you can set also by what time it has to be booked, uh, just in case. OK, and then after this, click Save Changes and we have our category done now. So we go back to our catalog and we can add as many as you want. So I'm going to add diggers, cranes and forklift as well. And there you go, guys, as you can see here, I've created four different categories. So we have excavators, diggers, cranes and forklift. So now let's create our first product together. OK, so we go to products, add new product. So first, we need to insert our product name. So I'm just going to copy and paste it here. So that's an eight ton excavator Hitachi something something. OK, so select the category. So this is clearly an excavator and then you can put the description. OK, so I'm just going to copy and paste this here. There you go. 
very good and now we can add our image so let's upload a new image so there it is this is our excavator select the image okay and now we can take care of our pricing oh, there it is so pricing now what's your booking price is it a booking price a subscription price or a sales price so you can sell the product as well all together if you wanted to sell it or have it as a subscription like a hire or you can lease it all together so for the lease this is the pricing plan here so as you can see you can set the price so per booking that's a fixed price per minute per hour per day uh, within opening hours or uh, per day 24 hours so what's the difference between those two well if it's within opening hours let's say the customer comes at 11 o'clock to collect the item brings it back the next day at 11 that's one day okay now whereas if it's per day 24 hours if you uh, come and collect it at 11 o'clock is between 11 to midnight and then if i bring it back the next day you will charge two days because i had it from the first day and then the second day then you have per week per month and per year okay so usually this time of item is usually either per day or per week i suppose you know so let's go per day and let's go uh, per day 24 hours so here this could be maybe that's an expensive equipment i don't know the price to be honest uh, let's put maybe 150 dollars uh, per day to hire this type of equipment and that's basically how you set up your price when you're leasing an item now, as you can see you also have subscription price so this is a recurring billing cycle on a monthly basis so basically here as you can see you can put the price monthly price so let's say per month it would be maybe uh, 750 or something like this you know and you also have the sales price so i suppose you might not sell diggers online immediately but if it's a small item maybe that you're renting out maybe sound equipment maybe computer equipment or something like this whatever you're leasing out uh, you can also have the sales price and if they decide to purchase it after all they can purchase it at full price as well in which case you would put the price here so let's say you're renting or uh, leasing out a uh, uh, computer equipment maybe it's 2500 or something like this put the price right here and that's basically it okay so we go back to our booking price this is the one we want to uh, enable so we go back on top and now we create our product and there it is so right here on top as you can see of the pricing and as you can see we have bookings enabled here which is our pricing structure for leasing and hire and the base price is 150 and the system here will automatically create the pricing table for us up to two weeks so basically as you can see we have one day two days three days four days five days six days and then after six days it become one becomes one week obviously you know and the price will be calculated automatically respectively for each period of time now you can add as many rows as you want you could also have a month or a year depending on how uh, you run your business obviously you know now if you go back on top here as you can see you also have subscriptions so if you want to enable this you can have bookings which is leasing basically you can have subscri subscriptions as well as a recurring monthly payment and you also have sales if you wanted to make it available for purchase immediately at full price so basically here subscription like we said is monthly basis uh, this is one of the options available but obviously here when it comes to leasing this is maybe not applicable in this instance and then we have sales so again like we said if you're leasing some computer equipment maybe music or dj equipment or something like this you know perhaps they want to buy the the, the whole set the whole equipment themselves you put the price right here and that's basically it okay so let's pretend uh, this is the price of a digger it could be 250,000 let's say if you want to sell it okay and now we also have the variant so if you have any variation of the same product you can create them here okay so new product variant so add an option so I'm just going to put the option name so maybe implement okay and then done and then you here you can type the name of the implement so so here I'm going to add maybe 4.5 ton bucket, save, as you can see this has been added, and then you can add another one. So let's say maybe an 8 ton bucket, save, and maybe we'll have another one, perhaps a rock breaker. Let's keep it simple, okay, save. So as you can see now we have the basic excavator, the one with 4.5 ton bucket, 8 ton bucket and rock breaker. And now if you go back to the pricing tab and scroll down at the bottom of your page this is where you'll find all your different variations and here you can add a price increase so that's basically goes on top of the regular price so when there's no implement maybe it's the same price 
4.5 ton bucket maybe 75 maybe the 8 ton bucket would be 95 and the rock breaker maybe 125 altogether and this will be added to your normal price at the end and right here as you can see you have the booking extension so if you click on this again this is part of those blocks that we can install you know and this one will allow your customers to add and extend the duration of their uh, hire and uh, lease period so let's say they leased it for a few days or hired this for a few days and now they notice that the job is not finished they might need it for an extra few days this will help them to extend that period of time okay and obviously it will uh, help you to process the payment and everything and, and all of that so let me just install that quickly as you can see it is installed so if i close this and i can enable this if you want to allow your customers to extend their rentals on the fly so if you enable this as you can see you have per hour and per day so clearly per hour is not suitable for us so you can just delete this and as you can see you'll get a message here letting you know it's minimum 24 hours then okay so how much was it per day we said it was 150 i think you know and that's basically it so now if you go back on top of our page we have the availability now and right here we're going to create our inventory because obviously you need to know how many excavators you have in stock of this type before you can list them out to the public so I'll click on this button here and as you can see you have all the different variations as well so how many of the atom excavator do you have in stock so click on this and as you can see you can create your own SKU so click on that and this could be your own code you know so it could be eight ton excavator one or the model or whatever you know so how many how do you have in stock so let's say we have three of them okay and then all you have to do is click add to add three items like this okay and then you can do the same with the different options here all the different implements so how many do you have in stock and so on and so on okay so let's just keep it like this for now and then if you scroll down the page and basically here this is where you set your opening hours but this could be done globally as well in your main settings so we do that later you know here we have settings as well which apply globally to your whole website and then after this that's basically us done okay click save changes and that's it we created our first product so let's go back to our catalog and there it is and now i'm sure you can't wait to see what it looks like so all you have to do is click on the product itself click preview and there it is guys as you can see this is a beautiful landing page isn't it and here you can either book or purchase it so let's say you wanted to sell it at full price you could do so as well but let's go with booking now so what type of implement well let's go maybe with a 4.5 ton bucket we only need one and what's the duration is it one day two days or up to a week so let's go ahead with maybe a full week okay and right here we're going to select when so when you click on any of those dates it will automatically gray out the full week so let's say maybe from the 9th to the 16th and here let's say from 9 a.m and that's the price 1125 dollars and now we are ready to order click on this and that's basically it now your customers can proceed to check out and ka-ching that's you done now obviously for you to get paid you have to set this up in the back end as well so let me show you very quickly here so if you go back to your dashboard here you go to accounts and this time payments and right here as you can see you have two different options you have rental payments and third party providers so this one is stripe okay so you can connect to both of them so basically here this one is powered by adian which is slightly cheaper it's 2.9 percent only 35 cents per transaction Whereas Stripe, if you click on this, you'll be able to connect your Stripe account. But I believe Stripe is more expensive than Agent. So you might want to choose this option uh, over uh, Stripe. But again, both of these methods are absolutely fine, guys. Okay. And you can also set manual payment if you want people to come and collect on site. They can pay you in cash or, or any other payment method you have on site in your shop, perhaps. Okay. So that's basically it. And then after this, your customer can check out. And there you go. Now, if we scroll down the page, you will see we have the payment method here by credit or debit card and also Google Pay. Now, you can also create an order manually if you wanted to. So let's say if you were to take an order over the phone, someone rings your office and you take the phone and you answer and someone says, oh, I would like to book an excavator for such and such date. You can do so as well. Basically, here you go to create an order, select the excavator, select the type of bucket they want with it and then basically here add to order so here we have a quick overview so here you want to book when uh, let's say maybe for four days okay and then you can select when exactly so you can reserve and then here we're going to select the date okay so let's say maybe 
from next month and let's say it's from the 9th until the Sunday the 13th okay so save this very good and now you can send a booking link and they, they can process to payment or you can just save the order and then they pay you directly when they get on site all the same you know so if I was to say send booking link let me send it here so I'm going to send it to myself hello at mrweb.tv okay and then you add your phone number one two three four five six seven eight and then put the customer's name here and maybe some additional information so right here just send okay and there you go so we got the confirmation here so i did two things he sent an email and also at the same time a text message directly to your customer's mobile phone and now your customer can open the email in the email there's a link you can click on this and confirm the order and as you will see now if i go to orders and there you go guys you can see the order was confirmed and it's confirmed through booking link which means it was received via email okay guys so now let me show you how you can customize the front end your home page so at the moment this is what it looks like so there's nothing on the home page so let me show you how you can populate that with some items okay so for this we go back to our dashboard we go to settings online store and right here you have everything related to the themes okay so what we need to do this one is live already we're going to click on customize and by the side you have all the different options of what you can add on your page and this is basically a quick preview of what it's going to look like okay so let's add a featured image first so i found a nice image online you know related to construction maybe showcasing all the equipment that you have so open this very good so as you can see very nice now clearly the heading here we have to change that so let's change this so for instance you could have a heading that says tools and power plants leasing in dublin ireland and then we could have a subheading here just like this so by the day the week or month keen prices so what's the intention here well basically anyone landing on your homepage should know immediately within two to three seconds what your website is all about you know so as you can see you have a picture image here that illustrates that perfectly and then the main heading says tools and power plants leasing in dublin ireland we have no doubt what it is that you do where you locate it as well and also the terms as you can see by the day the week or month and then keen prices okay and then right here we have a call to action button so you could put the label and also the link so as you can see on our image we have a lot of excavators obviously you know so this could be the main uh, point of attraction of your business where you make uh, the most money maybe you want to put this here maybe maybe uh, lease an excavator okay so let's type this here lease an excavator and now underneath we have to put the url so we go back to our catalog here and we can select the excavator this one for instance we have maybe eight or ten of them in stock click on this click on the preview button and now fetch the url here on top okay so Control c and now we can paste it right here and there you go as you can see now we have a call to action button here lease an excavator which is the main point of interest of our business this is where we make the most of money so clearly we want to put that immediately on our home page and then after this we go to home page layout and you need to decide what you want to display here so either your category listing or product listing if you select product listing be aware there is no banner it's only with the category listing and then you can define how many you want so maybe at the moment we only have four categories we make sure to do that as you can see they're not displaying here so what's happening well make sure that they are visible as well so if you go to your catalog here as you can see the status is hidden so click on this and as you create this as well you might want to make them public as you can see okay then save changes and then you would do so with all the others very good and now if you go back here and then click publish if you go back to your home page there you go as you can see they're right here so look at this that looks very very professional doesn't it if anyone lands there they have no doubt whatsoever what it is that you do if you select beautiful pictures like these ones and then they can click on the section itself and find the products related to that category and i can select a product and then rent it out and lease it from you now as you can see on top we also have the about us page so how can you change this where well, we go back here and right here on top as you can see this is home page you also have about us page and right here you can basically open the section and then you can add a custom heading if you wanted to and some content clearly this is an about us page so you'd like to give a bit of context as well about yourself okay so let's insert maybe a bit of context 
And as you can see, this is your about section. And right here, you'll have your contact details. So where can you change those contact details? Well, these are all part of your initial settings. So if you go back here to your uh, dashboard, you go to settings. And this is exactly where those details are taken from. Okay, so all you have to do is to edit this and they will display properly right there as well. Now you can add a section if you want and then you can add some content. So it could be an image or text. So let's say maybe you wanted to add something like the refund policy or something like this. Okay, to have it clear and then add the text and that's basically it. Okay, and you can do so with as many sections as you want. So that's basically it. So this is our about us page done. So as always, don't forget to click publish, obviously, you know, and you can do so with your checkout page as well. So by default, you have first name, last name, phone number and email address, but perhaps you'd like to ask for delivery instructions, you know, so I'll click on add a section, add content, and we're going to select text field. Okay, so let's type delivery instructions. You go and this might be required especially when it comes to uh, big equipment uh, construction equipment like this you know and that's basically it so now click publish that's it guys okay and as you can see i also have the global settings so right here I have the theme settings you can add a fav icon so this is basically the small icon here in the address bar you can tweak your header as well where do you want to place your logo and also you can add extra information in the footer section so at the moment, all we have is basically this, you know, 2023 and then the name of your website. But maybe you want to add a small about us section. So let's type this, okay? So let's say about us and then a small description, okay? And then you can add a bit of text. There you go. So this is our about us section. And then you can show the main menu as well. As you can see now with those three links. And you can add a title as well. So maybe quick links, okay? And you can also create your own uh, links as well add whatever you want any internal pages so as you can see you can add a new link here so let's say excavators for instance and then you need to add the url so you can find it for the home page as you can see this is excavators right click on it and then copy link address and then paste it right there okay there you go and now we can do the same with the other four so there you go guys that's what i've done i've added all of them and now click publish and now if we go back to the home page as you can see we have the footer section with all these different links. So if I click on this, it will bring us immediately to that category. Now, obviously, there are a few more options that you can go through on your own and discover them at your own pace. But this is basically the main essentials for you to create a leasing website. And now perhaps you'd like to find out how you can create a rental website using the exact same solution. If this is the case, I'll leave a video right here.